It is proving to be a big year for the Colorado Lottery, rebounding after a pandemic slowdown. This year, the lottery will provide more than $71 million to Great Outdoors Colorado, which reaches the funding cap nearly a month earlier than last year. KRDO News Channel 13's Colby Crosley breaks down how this funding will help. Thanks to a more than $1.7 billion combined dueling jackpots in January, unprecedented scratch sales, and a growing love for Colorado Lotto Plus, the Colorado Lottery celebrates reaching the funding cap for Great Outdoors Colorado. There's a certain amount every year that is the maximum that, that Great Outdoors Colorado can receive. And it started out back in 92 at $35 million, and it's been adjusted for inflation every year to where it was about 71.7 million this year. This year, the lottery will provide nearly $72 million in proceeds to Great Outdoors Colorado, which in return will help to fund parks, recreation, conservation, and open space projects across the state. GOCO has completed over 5,300 projects since they started in 1992 and in all 64 counties. So the money really gets spread around across the state. While the lottery experienced a dip in sales during the months-long shutdown last March, sales bounced back to pre-pandemic levels quickly, thanks to record-breaking sales so far this year. By reaching the Great Outdoors Colorado cap early, now even more proceeds can go to support the program, Building Excellent Schools Today, otherwise known as BEST. In the past, depending on jackpots and sales, BEST has gotten anywhere from under a million dollars to $14 million. So, this year is going to be a, a big number for best. Approximately 22 to 24 cents of every dollar spent on lottery games is reinvested back into the state. Reporting in Colorado Springs, I'm Colby Crosley, Cardio News Channel 13.